Alright, so check this out. I completely forgot that this would work. It just dawned on me today, but this might be pretty cool. Check it out. On this Nikon lens here, a adapter for Sony. This is a Sony mount. That's a Nikon mount. And what I have got here, which is a Nikon mount, this is an adapter for a telescope. So this 1900 millimeter f15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this onto my a6500. And we'll see how the picture turns out, and we'll check and see if the in-body stabilization can match the focal length of this thing. And we got camera paraphernalia everywhere. All right, so this is kind of neat. This telescope here has got here's my tripod mount, it's just like that. This telescope has got a standard quarter 20 thread in the bottom of it. And that's all there is to it. We can now mount it on the tripod. Look at that. Now what we can do is take the Sony and mount it check it out all right well let's take it outside see what it looks like oh this thing weighs a ton all right camera's on, the lens cap is off, huh. what to do, ah, I gotta flip this lever here, here we go, we've got an image of sorts, let's aim at the stop sign over there, and there's the stop sign, let's focus it now, Check it out, 1900 millimeters of zoom. All right, well let's uh, let's see what happens when we go to uh, yeah 12 millimeters. That's not going to work. Uh, going backwards. So we've got up to a thousand millimeters. All right, and we have focus peaking with a telescope. How cool is that? Look at that! To check our focus. Holy cow. I'm just barely touching this. Look at that. that touch the touch screen. Shakes everything. Let me tighten up all my tripod adjustments here. Alright, let's see if we can't get this. Golly! I'm just trying to focus it here. And it's shaking all over the place. Alright, well, I mean, I guess I can see the, the individual reflective scales. So, alright, now this is a situation where you're definitely going to want the shutter release remote. You're probably going to want to hold your breath and everything else, too. I mean, we can almost read what kind of bolt it is, which I guess is pretty good from here. Alright, let's find something else to look at. Let's go for the treetops. Way out there. Okay, this is something kind of neat that you may not know. You see the rings here? That uh, Those are actually the bokeh balls. And the reason that they look 
look like donuts is because of this front element. This is a mirror here, so no light can get through this. The light passes completely around it, bounces off the back, off the front, and then back to the camera sensor. So, because of the design of this, your bokeh looks like little donuts. And you can see them kind of growing. All right, now we're going to have to try some minimum focus. But it's getting kind of dark, and this is an F15 lens, so we're going to have to hurry. In the right, Sarge. And he's gone. All right, let's. All right, let's first start off. See if we can't focus on the mailbox. Getting closer. You can almost see the edge of it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's the top of it there. All right. So it is in focus there. Let me look at the number five. Nope. I guess we'll look at the the. Uh, flag instead. So yeah, okay. So that is in focus there, so let's move in a little bit and see if we can't find out what this thing's true minimum focus distance is. Alright, it's in focus again. I want to be able to shoot macro with this thing, which that's almost is. <clears throat> it seems like it's the end of my focus knob here, you see how far twisted out it is. Um, now if we can just find out what exactly we're looking at. Alright, I found the 5, and we can't get it in focus. Alright, we have found minimum focus, and it is about, I'd say, 20 feet. Let's step it off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yeah, almost exactly 20 feet, maybe 18 or 19. But, uh, there you have it, the AE6500 Telescope Edition. Let's we'll shoot at that star, see what it looks like. When we get the star in frame, which by the way we have to lock it up, you can watch it move across the sky. That's pretty cool. Looks like about as in focus as we're going to get. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more if there's more stars that come out. And check that out. You can see it moving right across the sky. I'm going to speed it up now so you guys can really see it. Alright. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you guys liked the the rig. The Mead telescope to telescope adapter to Nikon adapter to Sony. I mean, if it works. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys found this interesting. Catch me in the next one. I think I should take this on a wedding shoot or maybe a family gathering of sorts. It only weighs like, let's say, 40 pounds. <laughs>